everyone. Welcome to ProRPA.com. I'm your author, Vabhav Jain, and today I'm going to give a quick demo of what an RPA bot can actually do. So um, for this demo, I have taken part creation process, which is like creation of different parts used by many manufacturing firms for the products that they create or provide to their consumers. Like, you know, uh, let me give you a quick example. Say um, there's an IT firm uh, which needs uh, s computer chips, hardware chips, right? Silicon ones. And um, uh, this manufacturing firm is going to use different parts with, you know, details of these parts. Um, they need to put that into the system to keep a track of their inventory to, you know, um, do some sort of analysis on the demand and the supply of the product and uh, some sort of analysis on the actuals versus the forecasts. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff that can be done. So um, in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to read an Excel file, which is this sample product data I've created. And um, this file has like five uh, parts with some dummy data in it that, um, you know, this bot is going to read. It's going to take all this product 201 to 205 with all the description, SKU numbers, type, sales price, and, and all the other information. It's going to read that, put it in a variable within the bot itself. Then it's going to log into the part creation tool. So uh, for this demo, I have used the Intuit QuickBooks tool. And um, what it's going to do is it's going to log into that tool. It's going to go to the inventory management part of that tool and it's gonna input that data into the system. Fairly easy process, right? Yes. And um, I'm not gonna close the application. I've commented this part of the uh, program because it's not gonna run, because um, I want to show you after the demo is complete that you know uh, the data has been entered successfully. So um, having um, um, said all this, I also want you guys to keep in mind that, you know, for this demo, I've taken only five, you know, parts. So if, um, let's say we had 50 parts or 500 parts or, or, or 5,000 parts, then the, you know, then the benefit realization of implementing a, a bot into the firm to work for you is huge. It's tremendous. So, um, but still, I mean, uh, this demo is going to give a very good overview of how a bot works and um, a quick benefit realization. So uh, having said that, let me run this. So I'm running the bot now, right? Uh, it's opening the bot. It opened the Excel file and read all the data and closed it right away. That was smooth. Now it logged into the uh, uh, to the tool. I had the uh, I provided this URL uh, in the bot itself, so it already opened it up and logged in with the credentials that I uh, provided the bot. And then it went to the sales part, and uh, in here it found the products and services, and uh, it clicked on the new because we are adding a new product or a service. And it's of type inventory, so it clicked on the inventory. It's starting, it's entering the name, SKU, and the quantity, date, the information. I'm doing nothing at all. Everything is done automatically by the bot itself. There it is. First product already saved. Next product. Right? I can probably go on a tea break, you know. I don't have to do anything at all. So, the second product is in progress. So what's happening is, um, once the data which was read from the Excel was put into the uh, bot variable, then um, there's a loop that I've started where, you know, whenever there's any data item available in that variable, it's gonna enter it by following this sequence of steps. Once it finishes off, it's done. The program finishes. So RPA, you know, one of the best parts is that, you know, you can um, interact with the external applications in a very nice and smooth way. And uh, this can, you know, reduce your daily amount of work 
tremendously by, you know, as you can see, automatically being done. And not to worry, I'm going to walk you through all the um, all the ways, all the steps, the fundamental, uh, the fundamentals that you need to know to develop a bot yourself in the, you know, next blog posts. Here it is, the purchasing information and cost for the fourth product. Yes, that's the fourth one. And new. This is going to be the last product. So inventory it went. Drink the name. So the information is entered, the sales information and the sales price. Then here's the purchasing information and the cost and it's saved and closed and all set so all the five products were entered successfully product 2001 something like that this one 2001 2002 3 4 5 all the products were entered successfully and uh, the bot can also close the application if of course I just enable that activity and these are called uh, you know the activity some people call it stages because but it's one of the same thing so yep and uh, i hope this demo gives a pretty good overview of how a bot can work how it can interact with the elements of different applications it could be a browser based application desktop based application and uh, you know it could be within the vpn citrix based as well i'm going to walk through each and every example in uh, subsequent blog posts and demo so um, please feel free to uh, provide any comments any questions that you have I'll try to answer as many as possible and uh, good luck keep automating thank you very much